السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى أما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا توبوا إلى الله توبة نصوحا سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he commanded us that we should repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What is repentance? And what is the sinful act we need to understand? We are committed with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. This is the kalimah in which we testify our commitment with Allah and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That's why whenever we will do anything against the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this will become a sinful act. Regardless of our faith, our creator is one, Allah. So anything we will do against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is our creator, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be angry with us and this will be considered as a sinful act. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he sent the messengers and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the last messenger as we believe from Adam al-Islam to our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa all the messengers who are 124,000 approximately. So that's why if we will do anything against the command of Messenger Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa who brought all the message, all Islam, the way of life, the message of mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, and another thing we also need to remember, anything we will do innovation, something different that Allah and Rasulullah did not inform us, then it will be also considered as sinful act. So when there will be a sin, there will be effect. Just like if you have anything hot, it will be burning. Anything cold will give you feeling of coldness. Exactly, the sin is just like a poison spiritually. This is a poison for our spirit. So, it will cause a damage to our soul. So, there will be an effect of sinful act in our life. So, we need to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hazrat Abdullah bin Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu he said we have to protect ourselves disobeying the sharia so we can protect ourselves committing from the sinful act. Mufassirin they mention that the Tawbat nasu is the one who gonna wash out his heart from the sinful ideas. Intention of sin we have to wash out from our heart, which is very difficult thing, very difficult thing, but we have to do it. That means intentionally and knowingly we should not disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hazrat Hassan Basri rahmullah, he said, Tawbatun Nasua, anyone who repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincerity, he will start disliking all the sins that he used to like it before in his life. Tafsir Mazhari, 
They said Tawbatun Nasua is the four things. One, you have to declare verbally for the istighfar, for the repentance. Then physically, you have to prove yourself from all your, all your organs that we should not be doing any sinful act. And number third, it said, Tawbatun Nasua means that we should remove all the desires from our heart to go back into sinful acts. And then the fourth and final thing it mentioned that we have to you know, leave all the uh, reasons of doing sin. For example, if we have reason, we are in a bad company, we are going into certain places where our emotions are out of control, we need to stop this. This is considered as a sinful act. And Tawbatun Nasua. You know, we are sincerely now repentant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaitan always try that he consider that all kind of sins are very minor mistakes in our life. But truly they are not minor mistakes. We have to always think about that we are disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the creator, who is the owner of the whole universe. And if we are disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even the minor sin will be considered as a major sin, uh, especially if someone is doing it intentionally and knowingly. So we should never think about a sin as a minor uh, act of our life. This is a major thing and we should repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today we will recite some kalimat uh, after me and uh, we will re truly repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sincerely we will repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we will have also intention to rectify ourselves. And you know we need islah, we need purification and rectification. So in future we should not be doing any kind of sins and the previously uh, if we have done any mistake uh, we are seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I will ask everyone to say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulihi wa yawmil akhir wa qadri khairihi wa sharrihi min Allah ta'ala wal ba'thi ba'd al maut. Amantu billahi kama huwa bi asma'ihi wa sifatihi wa kabiltu jami'a ahkamihi ikrarun bil lisan wa tasdeequn bil qalb ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli dhanbin wa atubu ilayhi astaghfirullah rabbi من كل ذنب وأتوب إلي أستغفر الله ربي من كل ذنب وأتوب إلي صلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين By reciting these kalimat we repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Few uh, uh, tasbihat, I like to let you, everyone know and give ijazah. Make a habit to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala daily, 100 times in the morning, 100 times in the evening, by saying, Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli dhambim wa atubu ilayhi. We should also have 100 times in the morning and 100 times in the evening, salawat for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by saying, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa barik wa sallim. I humbly request everyone that they must recite Quran daily as much possible or at least half a Jews and one Jews so we can finish Quran at least special in these days once in a month we have to be attached with the 
with the Quran and the Quranic knowledge and understanding as much possible we should uh, read Quran and understand. There is another way to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is wakuf uh, kalbi That means we should remember Allah when we are standing, when we are sitting, when we are lying. All time we should have a background feeling that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watchful. Wherever we are, Allah is with us. So we should also uh, have this feeling that Allah is uh, very close to me. Allah is, uh, is watchful to me. By having this feeling, inshallah, we will not commit any, any sin uh, in our life. And at the same time, we will feel strength. Because the King of Kings, you know, the creator of the universe, he is always watchful and he is always with us. How can we feel any sadness, depression, loneliness in our life? So this is also a beautiful way to strengthen spiritually ourselves. Then at this, in order to receive, to build this uh, uh, ability to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all time. We have to meditate and this is called muraqaba and we have to sit down and imagine there is nothing but Allah and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showering upon me and my heart is saying Allah, Allah, Allah. By doing this, inshallah, we will have a strengthening of a wakuf kalbi remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we will achieve the zikr kathir That means most of our life will be in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The last thing that we should also stay in the good company. Like in, in Salat we say اِهْدِنَ السِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He gave the solution سِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْعَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ we have to stay in the company of, in the path of uh, those who are righteous people. فَاتَّبِعْ سَبِيلَ مَنْ أَنَابَ إِلَيْهِ Those who are uh, the uh, righteous people, we have to stay in their company. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهِ وَكُونُوا مَا الصَّادِقِينَ This is also that uh, those who are believers, they have to have a fear of Allah and they have to stay in the company of the righteous people.